For a lot of people, talking to camera is one of those things that can really throw them off. It can cause a lot of fear, frustration, awkwardness, even anxiety, because when you talk to camera, there's nothing to go off of. You're staring down the lens of this thing that's looking at you, and essentially you're talking to yourself. It's very hard to imagine that you're actually having a conversation with your audience or with a friend when you've just got this robotic object staring at you. So in this video, I'm gonna give you three easy steps that you can follow to finally get over your fear of talking to camera and finally start doing this. So the problem is, is that you are here and you wanna be here. The gap might be quite big. If you've never talked to camera before and you're quite nervous, it's very likely that the gap between where you are now and where you wanna be is too large. You see the YouTubers, you see the public speakers, you see these people who are just natural, effortless, fearless on camera, and you think, how can I ever get there? This just seems completely unrealistic and just out of reach. That gap then paralyzes you because you think, I need to be here when I make my first video, and if I'm not, I'm gonna think I'm a failure. So instead of that, you need to completely break that down and enter in a process-based mindset. So step one is to make your first video and delete it. So I don't want you to put any effort into this video. You literally need to set up your phone, put it on a tripod, whatever, or hold it, and talk to the camera. If you can, put a timer on and try and do it for five minutes. That might seem like a long time. If you're somebody who can really just get a few sentences out and stop, just try and, try and do 30 seconds a minute and just talk to the camera. For this first one, don't even watch it. Because if you know you're gonna watch it back, you might not even do it in the first place. So make that video, then delete it. Give yourself a big pat on the back. That's step one done, you've made some progress. That feeling of just talking, you'll probably discover it feels quite strange, feels weird, you have to just keep going and there's nothing to kind of bounce off of. Good, get used to that feeling. Get used to just outputting. That's what talking to camera is all about. Then you move on to step two. And step two is to record a video. This time, try and go a bit longer, so maybe five minutes, maybe eight minutes. And what you're gonna do is watch that back. When you watch it back, it's gonna be a strange experience. You're gonna realize, oh my God, that's me. That's so weird. That's how I look, that's how I talk. It might be a positive experience. You might be like, ah, oh, I'm cooler than I thought. It might be a negative experience. You might be like, oh my God, I." I do all these weird things with my face and my hands. Most likely it's a mix of both. Most likely there's some things that you like about yourself, there's some things that you find a bit strange, whatever. That's all irrelevant. You've seen the video, you've watched it. Just pick one thing that you want to improve on. Don't get overwhelmed with being like, oh my God, I'm just, I don't even know where to start. Just pick one thing. Pick one thing that you can get better at and then go from there. A lot of the time that one thing might be talking more loudly. It could be, maybe you'd really say um a lot. So it could be just reducing that um. A lot of the time it's adding in a pause, being a bit more grounded. So in between sentences, in between things, and then carry on rather than just continuously talking and, and throwing out and jumbling words together. Whatever that thing is, the next day, just work on that one thing. Then brings us on to step three. Step three might come a little bit later. You could repeat step two for a month if you would like. Step three would be to show somebody one of your videos or post one of your videos somewhere. If you're not part of a Facebook group where it's kind of like a closed community where you can post your videos with other like-minded people who are also talking to camera, then what you can do is perhaps make a video for a friend. So just say, hey mate, I'm, I'm looking to get better at this talk, talking to camera thing. Is it cool if I make you a video? I'm gonna kind of almost like make a video message for you rather than a voice message, just so I can improve how I talk to camera. Sometimes that friend would be like, yeah, sure. You can send it to them. If not, you can put it on YouTube. If you feel like you're ready, put it on YouTube. That's your first video out there and you've finally broken down that barrier. So wherever you are, this whole process is about baby steps. It's about reducing that space between where you are now and where you wanna be and just attacking it with a daily process-based attitude rather than thinking it's something that it just needs to be one big leap and you'll finally do it, but you can never bring yourself to do it because you're scared. 
If you would like a free one-pager talk to camera cheat sheet with a bunch of tips and information on it from the right mindsets when you're talking to camera to some delivery basics that you can print out and have next to you whilst you talk to camera, then that is in the description. Just enter your email and I'll send that over to you. All right, guys, you got this, you can do it, and I'll see you in the next video.